Okay, so for this tutorial, I will be using some perm rods, or it's also known as a hair roller, and it looks like this. It comes in different sizes, and I'm using the large size right here. Take a section of hair, now dampen it with water as usual. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm going to angle um, the perm rod like that, and then I'm going to be wrapping the hair around the perm rod, just as if you would wrap your hair around a curling iron, or a barrel of the curling iron. So that's it, and once I reach the bottom, I'm gonna go right ahead and secure that in place. That's what it looks like, and I'm gonna do the same thing all over and over again. And in here, I am not using the perm rod as you would normally use it. I'm using it this way just because I wanted to get tight waves and curls. So I'm just gonna do her whole head, and I will be right back. Now, once that's done, I'm actually going to do a little bit of an experiment. In here, I actually grabbed smaller sections of hair and I left this on my mannequin's hair overnight. So... So in here, I think I got more of like a curl, a really tight curl, instead of waves. So I'm going to go ahead and remove everything. If you're the type who really likes tight curls or waves on your hair, then I suggest leaving the perm rods longer on your hair. So this is what it looks like right now. If you are into this curl, then that is great. And you can also run your fingers through your hair just so that it would look more natural. And in here, I'm going to show you guys, I actually ran uh, my fingers through my mannequin's hair and that's what it looks like. Now on my second experiment, what I did is I just left the perm rods on her hair for a couple of hours and this time I actually grabbed bigger sections of hair. So you will see that I will have this type of waves right here which is a lot more bigger and I would definitely consider them as waves now. They look very tight but if you don't hairspray them, they will just um, start to loosen up a bit and that's the result right there. It actually reminds me of that retro, Hollywood retro waves. I really like the waves and you can leave them as is just like that. I actually really really like how that the waves look like. I like the volume and the body that it gives to your hair. And in here you also have the option to of course run your fingers to the hair and um, to you know to make it look more natural and if you want it to be more voluminous then go ahead and do that um, but in here of course there's always a tendency that it sometimes it tends to frizz and so I'm gonna go right ahead and use my Dove serum to tame down the frizz and as you can see right here that's what it looks like right there is also another option for you guys what you can do is you can use a comb and just comb through the waves and um, for my experience using a comb actually it keeps the um, the formation of the waves but if you want it to be more soft then use a brush now in here that's what it looks like actually tucked in um, some of the hair underneath to make the hair look shorter and also I did a little bit it's not really defined but I did a little bit of a finger wave right there it kind of reminds me of those vintage hair of those of the flapper hair and that's what it looks like right there so if you want more a more of like a subtle look then go for that go right ahead and brush out your hair and this is one of the curling techniques that I've used that I find that it really curls the hair super quick. So that's it. So if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned on Thursday as I show you how to get those curls without heat. So I will see you all in my next video on Thursday. Bye!